welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kiana and I just graduated from the University of British Columbia with an honors nutrition and psychology degree. And I'm so excited because today we are filming the very first episode of my post-grad diaries. This is a new reoccurring series I'm gonna be posting on my channel, basically taking you through my gap year, showing you how I'm growing personally and professionally, how I plan on achieving my goals and creating my dream life right now. So without further ado, let's get into it. Once you've graduated, you can finally start to go all in on your career. Over the past three years, I've been creating content on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Pinterest. And my dream job is to be a content creator. So my main focus for my gap year is making content creation my full-time job. I already treat it like my full-time job by working eight hours a day and even working a little bit on the weekends, early mornings, late nights. So really the next year is about seeing how much money I can make and where I can really take things. When you're in your 20s, you have a lot less responsibilities. So if if you have a dream career is truly the best time in your life to just go for it because life gets increasingly more complicated as you grow up and you start to get married you start to have children you need to pay a mortgage so for me i am going all in on myself and making my dream career a reality let's go work out. We're doing a little booty workout, nice little Pilates routine. If you guys watched my life reset video that I did at the beginning of the summer, I basically talked about how I was doing the blog Pilates July calendar. July's not over quite yet. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for August yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out this week as August is literally Thursday. So we'll see how that goes, but let's work out because I am so tired of looking at a screen and being on my phone. Yes, it's over. It was a rainbow, but was sinking. Lost my you. I might come running back when our hearts get back on track. When the stars line up, that's that. I've been attached, just looking out. We move so fast, was moving south. My secret sauce, move in and out. Miss how you gloss that pretty mouth. Love it when you toss it back, love it when you talk back Girl, you get me off track, so off-white track soon Just so I can floss, yeah With my new bitty, she ain't let my it's off yet Could've been you, still feeling on my ditty, but you lost that You had real privileges for this, all snaps Now you getting time out, cause you hit it where my heart's at I'm actually doing a little photo shoot with my friend Before she goes to Australia, there's like bucks everywhere I'm wearing this really cute Skims dress that I just thrifted It's literally everything i love when i find a good piece but i'm going to take some photos with my friend i actually don't even need content today but it is my last opportunity to see her and this is kind of what we want to do so doing a little photo shoot i'll give like an update when it's done it's been a crazy day eight hour day at work and now more work got me going deeper than amari when that ball snap heard you sold your soul on makari got your call lacking wow. now i'm next door at the party while you jaw jacking you know it's the shot and the rarest in the raw fashion I'm still trying to figure how this all happened huh it has been a hectic day so i thought let's get unready together and we can talk about it and all my post-grad thoughts something that surprised me in my post-grad era was how different everybody's lives are in their early Early to mid 20s literally everybody's in such a different place in life like some people are getting engaged and married I literally have some friends that have kids there's people that are going back to school going to grad school I have friends that are just starting undergrad I have friends that have been working for years so literally everyone is in their own lane doing their own thing and specifically something i've noticed in a lot of my close friends is a lot of people are moving away to different countries and this is something i've always wanted to do but now that i'm done school it's actually starting to feel like a reality you know with my one friend going to australia i actually have multiple friends going to australia so i've been trying to see if i can potentially visit at some point but that's an aside and something that definitely needs a pros and cons list another one of my best friends is moving to london for law school so i'm starting to think about my move to another country before i get married and have kids i've always seen myself 
settling down in Vancouver because my parents are here and right now when I'm young I'm not answering to anyone right now besides myself and basically my career I feel like it is the time to take risks and I think something that I've started to realize is that I feel like I've done everything I want to do in Vancouver at this point. I've lived here my whole life and while it is an amazing city, I'm very lucky that I have roots in such an expensive city that has so much to offer, but I'm ready to experience more of the world. So I am going to be looking into getting a visa to live somewhere else. I'm not going to say where yet because I probably have mentioned it in a, another video and I'm just going to see what it's going to take to get me where I want to go. My timeline is within two years. So as much as I would love to go as soon as possible or potentially next year, I do have to make sure I'm in a financially stable situation. I'm lucky that I do have savings, but I also need to build my career a little bit before I go. And these are just post-grad things to think about, like what are your priorities? What is gonna be most important to you? What are the things you wanna do in the next few years? Specifically, if you're taking a gap year like me, thinking about those things, starting to plan them out and actually take action towards those things. So those are my evening thoughts. I'm officially ready for bed. I'm super tired. I'm gonna go to bed because getting rest is a big part of one of my goals this year. And that's something I do really want to focus on so I'm gonna be going to bed right now and I will see you guys tomorrow good morning guys we have our morning coffee brown sugar ice shake and espresso we have such a busy day I was in the middle of saying that last night and then my camera died last day of July basically we have to do everything I didn't do on Monday so I also have another post to get up I have to finish editing my YouTube video I'm hoping to get that exported and uploaded today should not take me long there isn't that much to do I have to develop at least one concept for a collaboration I'm working on which involves writing an entire script and script out the video by clips, also known as scenes, on-screen text, and voiceover caption. For these types of collaborations, I do like a high quality script and I put a lot of thought and effort into these ideas. So it's gonna take me a while because the brand has kindly given me creative freedom, which is exciting but scary at the same time. I have to get into my content marketing class. I'm pretty sure I have an assignment due tomorrow. Have not even looked at it. And I have to say that has been super frustrating because although I have enough time for the class, because I'm really taking my weekends off and really not working a lot. It's very hard to keep up with school and work and the rest of my goals. And then hopefully after we get those four things done, I also post the first video in my BMO collaboration for the back to school season today. We should be able to get into personal stuff. I don't want to film the same things over and over again. I want this vlog to be interesting for you. And I hope that it is relatable for a post-grad diary because this is what I'm doing in my post-grad. I know that not everyone's a content creator, but I feel like a lot of people that watch YouTube videos want to be content creators or want to get into YouTube so hopefully this is interesting and please let me know in the comments down below what you want to see in the post-grad diaries because that will give me a lot of direction but anyways let's get grinding you know this ain't the time for the two of us Ooh, I Okay, so we are jumping on the treadmill. I'm just going to do a little workout to take a break. My brain is really hurting from just being on my laptop all the time. And my shoulders are sore. I really, really need to book a massage and just make sure that I'm prioritizing my health and my personal goals as much as my work goals. Like that is something that is very, very hard for me. So I'm trying my best, but we're going to do a quick little treadmill workout, 30 minutes, gonna get a stretch in and just start feeling good. And then I have a package to unbox that I just got sent by one of my favorite brands. I'm so happy to be working with them this month and I'm really hoping it goes well so we can keep a long-term partnership going. But let's dive into this workout. I'm just gonna do like a 12, 3.30. I may do like 6, 3.30. I don't really like walking that high incline just because it's hard on my Achilles, which are quite tight. This is the workout fit and I'm feeling good. Let's get started. To be thinking about you. We're gonna go to a coffee shop to get a little bit of work done. I wanna be working on my, my writing for content marketing class. But before we go, I wanna show you guys some packages I got. I'm so excited to be working with Gainful in August. This video is not sponsored. I'm just sharing that I'll be working with them in the future. But this is one of my favorite brands in the fitness and health space. I love their protein. I love their hydration packs. So I'm super excited to be working with them. And what's really cool is that I actually pitched 
this campaign. I'm so excited to get working on this project because I do leave for a trip in August. So I do want to get this done. Oh, I'm so nervous about breaking a nail. Okay. I also like that they work with dietitians because I feel like a lot of like fitness, nutrition brands don't. They don't necessarily have the education or correct information behind them, but Gainful works with dietitians, which is amazing. So I have my own customized protein. So this is based on my fitness goals. They customize a protein for you. And it's got 25 grams of protein per serving, clean, recovery, one gram of carbs per serving, and it's soy free. Oh my God, they actually sent me two bags of protein. Wow, I wasn't expecting this. And this is also whey protein. This is my favorite kind of protein that I prefer just because it's complete protein. And then this is my favorite product. This is the hydration. Why I like this is because although there's caffeine, they have electrolytes like magnesium, sodium, calcium, potassium. So even though you become dehydrated when you have caffeinated drinks, you're rehydrating with the electrolytes, which I love. I was using this as a pre-workout, but I know that it's not. It's actually designed to be used for recovery, but I really love this product. The strawberry lemonade flavor is so good. They also sent me some flavor boosts. Just open it up. Let's see what kinds they have. They have, ooh, cinnamon toast, Madagascar vanilla. I've had that really good. Sea salt caramel, cookies and cream, rich chocolate, chocolate peanut butter, and strawberry cream. Okay, I love the new flavors. They're definitely better than when they first worked with me in 2022. I feel like these flavors, I'm excited to try literally all of them. And these you add when you make a protein shake or a protein snack, you add the flavor boost so that your perfectly formulated protein can be literally any of the flavors you buy. I love that idea. I think adding a flavor boost is worth it. Only eight calories per pack too. As a creator, it's just so exciting to work with brands you love. Okay, super excited about this. They sent me some extra things, which is so nice. So this is their daily performance greens. I've never tried a performance green, so I'm super excited to try these. These are for improving your focus, gut health, and immunity. And the flavor that I chose was tropical pineapple. This is the Gameful pre-workout. I'm really excited to see how this works compared to me using the hydration as a pre-workout. So this has natural caffeine. It's a lower stimulant. It also has creatine in it. So they also did send me a creatine, which is for improving strength. I took a class at UBC called Sports Nutrition and creatine was one of the only supplements we studied that actually does improve strength. And then they also sent over some grass-fed collagen, which is super amazing. Collagen is great for your skin, nails, and hair. So I'm super excited to try this out as well. Thank you so much to Gainful for working with me. It is just such a big accomplishment as a creator to work with brands you love. I'm very picky about nutrition brands in that like fitness and health field because I was a nutrition student. But anyways, now we're going to head to Starbucks and start working on our assignment for my writing for content marketing course. The time for the two of us. Oh, I ain't got space uh -uh. to be thinking about you. Okay, there's people literally behind me waiting for my spot. So I'm gonna try to keep this so quick. I not only got through all the notes for my course this week, I also submitted the assignment. I literally started it wrote it and submitted it and I'm not gonna lie I'm actually feeling pretty confident about this one last week's assignment I feel like was harder for me personally but I read my feedback and I was actually really pleasantly surprised I like try to copy and paste it somewhere in the assignment just so I don't lose it and he also said that if I rework through the assignment I can utilize the notes to make it better and improve it because a big part of writing is also rewriting that's something he said like this prof that we have is, is a very well accomplished British journalist which is really cool actually made me realize how much I missed writing and just a more creative education obviously like doing content creation I get a lot of creativity I also did a bullet journal like I have a lot of creativity in my life but I miss that like 
learning involved with creativity. So it's really nice doing this writing course that I have that now. I know this vlog has been mostly work and not a lot of play, but hopefully it's productive and motivating to you guys because I feel like post-grad is something that you really have to motivate yourself and like remind yourself why you're doing the things you're doing. Like a big part of life is not getting discouraged. And I feel like post-grad is a time in your life if you don't have something lined up in particular where you can really become discouraged. But you have to keep reminding yourself like why are you doing what you're doing? What goals are you trying to reach and how are you working towards them every day? And that is going to get you where you want to be. So I'm really actually happy with how the vibe of the vlog has turned out. Although it may not be as interesting as I initially hoped. My first one in the series. So we got to just go with it. But I'm going to head home now. So excited to listen to a little podcast and get out of here and rest and get some self-care in for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of the post Rec Diaries. Let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see more of in this series. I love hearing your feedback and I always wanna create videos that are valuable for you and show you exactly what you wanna see. So leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in the next one. I've been attached, just looking out.